nobody can see it. Say me, I overdo it, overdo it. Oh, yeah. Hey, YouTube. So, what's up? It's your girl, Juice, here. Juice? Ashley? I don't know whichever one. But, um, this video is just gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little draga, I guess, like trash. Because I'm not really sure where this video is gonna go, but just wanted to say for vlogmas day one here is a video <laughs> about the month of december and how i'm gonna be recording for the whole month i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to put out stuff i don't care if it's like car vlogs or me sitting here in my room or if it's you know just basic topics so you could speak on things there's like so much i wanted to talk about like i want to talk about the semester because next week is like the last week of all semester and i mean then we have finals after but you pretty much know how you're doing before the finals come around so i could pretty much talk about it and just so much went on just emotionally and mentally and physically and everything <laughs> like no but seriously i do want to talk about these things that transpired in the last months of 2016 this forsaken year <laughs> so it's vlogmas number one vlogmas and i'll probably continue this outside in my car yeah while i'm driving to work you know a Persian city Oh, that was another video I want to do. Free okay, let's get the show on the road. I hope the phone doesn't drop while I'm recording because I will be tight. Okay. Okay, so I need to put my Ziva on and stop acting like an asshole. Yeah. Participating in Vlogmas and I decided that I will just vlog anything. Like I'm just gonna vlog and edit it and put it up. No, you know, your channel's supposed to be like content based and oh it's supposed to be good stuff. But my life is not really that exciting. Uh, I think other people look at my life and think that it's exciting because of my personality. And how, you know what, camera, if you don't stop, they look at my personality and then they think that I'm always doing something, but I'm really not. Like, I think it's because I'm, I don't know, exaggerative or whatever. So it just seems like I'm having so much fun but in all actuality it's just mad regular shit that's going on I'm sorry this video is gonna be like so shaky anyways I'm going to work right now um speaking of which like this is this has been a thought of mine for forever and for a minute now being that I work there and I think next month is going to be my time where I'm gonna just put in my resignation I've been with this company for about three years no it is three years like next year we'll make it four and like in August of next year it will actually make it a full-blown four and that's my gaslight great I'm leaving because I've outgrown the place things that have transpired at the job while I've been there I am not for it that they want to talk about integrity they want to talk about things of that nature and they do not represent any of these things they do not display any of these things and um, I'm just I'm not for it so I'm going to leave and I'm gonna take my talents elsewhere honestly like next semester I don't I know like I'm gonna feel it because I'm somebody like I like to work I like to make my money for myself or whatever the case might be but in the same breath it is what it is I'll be okay. I have a lot going on for me next semester. My schedule, especially for school, is gonna be like hectic. And I, it's like my, it's gonna be my last semester as well. So I can't, like, I just can't. Like, I'll make money somewhere or another. I'm gonna find a way 
I'll find somewhere else, but that place is not gonna have me anymore. And um, yeah, I'm not sure when in January I'm going to do it or when in the beginning of the year, but I know for a fact I'm going to be leaving them. Like inside of me is telling me to leave them alone because growing there, I'm not growing, it's the same thing every day, like day in, day out, same bullshit, same nonsense, same disrespect, same, I just, I can't, I cannot tolerate things like that, so I'm gonna have to go. Mm, what else is there to talk about? Work. I don't know. <laughs> This is so crazy, like, I don't know how people just talk to, like, it's so weird, like, driving and talking. Okay, so, since we're talking about in future endeavors and plans and stuff, so, I decided, being that today is December 1st, um, for the month of December, no matter how tired I am, or how unmotivated I feel, or how just not up for it it is, I'm going to go to the gym, so that in the vlog too like later on when i'm going to the gym after work i am going to be attending every single day every single day um to get my my workout in and just do it you know like my birthday is next month on january 2nd and i have a dress that i want to look good for yeah so my birthday is next month and i have this dress or whatever i know like when you lose weight and it shouldn't only just be for like oh i want to just look good in my dress type shit i mean it is a lifestyle change but for the moment right now like my main goal is want to look good you know i feel like you know i look good now right but i could look better okay <laughs> i can look better and I feel that I need to let me get excuses for myself like I would come home like I would the thing about it is I have my gym clothes with me all the time because I always say I'm gonna at least go to the gym for at least an hour after class or after work or whatever and get this workout in but I just guess like whatever the vibe is in school or at work it's just like you know I just want to go home I don't care. I just want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go in my bed, watch YouTube videos. That's it. But I can't do, keep doing that because if I keep on doing that, I'm never going to see the results that I want. Unless if I starve myself and, you know, I'm not a great person when I'm hungry. So I don't want to be like that. So I'm going to go. There's a girl on YouTube here. She is like an inspiration to me as far as her fitness goals. Her name on here is Jamexican Beauty. Her real name is Linda. So you guys can, if you continue watching the videos and you see this, you can go to her channel and you can see what I'm talking about. She oftentimes puts up her meal preps or, you know, things that she eats throughout the day, her workouts, what worked for her, what didn't work for her. She's just popping. So she's an inspiration to me you know like her waist is what is my inspiration like everything else on my body i'm fine like okay like i don't i i'm i think i'm medium thick ish i don't know <laughs> i don't know like some days i look at myself i'll be like oh i'm a bbw ain't nobody no bbw right here but i do feel like that sometimes and then um but my real body type what i like to see on females like I just feel like a midriff, like a nice, clean cut midriff, is really sexy on a female. And my midriff is not clean and cut. I mean, I could fake it. I show my stomach all the time, but it's not like smooth and solid and stuff. You know, I got a little tiny soft belly there that it, it jiggles and stuff. So, and I don't got no kids yet, so I need to get it together. Like, get your life, fam get your life Ashley you know what are you doing so that's an endeavor for the month of December and then I want to try to keep it up because they say in order to have a habit you need to consistently do something for about 21 days 21 days straight and it becomes a habit so I need to get into that okay thank you for not having an indicator on the tea. yeah so I need to make it a habit to be going to the gym all the time so that also, of course, like eating clean. Back in, I think it was April and May, I was consistently going to the gym and 
like it didn't even matter like even if I didn't want to go I still went like, it would be 10 o'clock 11 o'clock I always would go into the gym and I also was eating a little bit cleaner because of the person who I was with at the time so it was easy for me to you know I guess you could say like conform to that lifestyle kind of because you know I wanted to be a copycat let me stop not a copycat but I wanted to you know to be like vibing on the same level with him or whatever the case might be so it was kind of easier and I did see a difference in my body so I need to get it together again and that's another plan and a goal oh yeah I did want to talk about like what I learned in 2016 and my feelings and my emotions and stuff like that I do have a video on here you can watch it it was like basically talking about me documenting my emotions from the months of june july and august and i want to talk about that stuff now but i don't know if i'm gonna talk about it in this video i, I think i need to sit down and like write like a, a bullet point list or some shit where it's like okay so this is what i feel so i'm not all over the place because i do get a little carried away sometimes when i'm speaking okay thank you for your indicator letting me know you're training this time but um see and i keep saying but um that's not cool i don't know i don't know what the fuck i'm telling you i don't know i need to wash my car like it rained yesterday but outside of my car is still like 30 inside here i haven't washed my car since august 20th that just showed you how much of in shambles my life is in right now like i don't understand the way how i just was feeling so crazy this semester in school like i don't even know how a shower was able to happen like <laughs> i don't understand like a shower just yo i yo i have monday through thursday classes right so you know how like on monday and wednesday you see the same people tuesday thursday you see the same people too so it got to the point where it was like yo i don't even care if the monday and wednesday people see me in this like y'all gonna see it again on tuesday and thursday like i don't care like everybody was seeing the same outfit so if i wore something on monday and monday i was wearing it again on tuesday and then come back on wednesday i was wearing that same outfit that i had on monday i don't care like it just got so ridiculous like just <laughs> and like eventually like throughout some classes i was just like okay so if i drop out like am i a bad person like i am still a good person if i am not in school right now like it's not that serious like i should not be judged upon a grade of the man like i should not i was just so stressed out this semester um not like one time which was like two weeks ago to my homeboy's party and it just felt mad crazy like i'm just like i'm out i'm out in the party and i'm like shit shit something came up on blackboard right now like what oh my gosh i'm out and my professor is posting shit on blackboard man if you don't st yo i was so tight like this semester was jokes just utter jokes and it's still not done yet i'm talking and it's still not done like i got one more week and then it's finals week after that so i mean it's pretty much done but what the hell i will never forget these days these days is what jump started my other plans that's to come so i'm gonna speak about that and the other stuff but mm. i'm gonna go into work right now i think i said that already and it's just like why am i going there like what i'm just trying to make my like a chop change before um my birthday again and then it's like back to square one Shit is crazy, son. I don't know, like adulting. This shit is different. Let me drink my tea. By the way, I tried chamomile, cam, cam, chamomile tea for the first time yesterday. Like chamomile tea is like up there, like up, up. Stop being judgmental. And I always have to do that. Every time before I go to work, I have to take a deep breath before I go inside. It's always... Like, I always have to do that. Because I'm just so, like... I don't know what to expect for the day. 
I just don't know. I think this vlog is done. I don't know what else to talk about, so later. <laughs>